we're looking at here is the deployment of our 11th wave energy buoy. Power from clean and constant ocean waves could help solve the world's energy problems, but it hasn't always been easy to generate support for this renewable source. In 1998, when I was writing these white papers and proposals, people were saying, you know, she's crazy. Uh, we're not going to be able to harness uh, energy from the ocean. It's just too harsh of an environment. Before this successful field test off the Oregon coast, contactors and circuit breakers. Electrical engineer Annette Von Jouan experimented with many technologies. This is a linear to rotary system and these were two of those top five that we built at the 200 watt level. With support from the National Science Foundation, Von Jouan developed many wave energy devices. This design has few moving parts. You have this magnet assembly heaving up and down in the waves creating this changing magnetic field and a direct conversion of that linear heaving motion of the wave into electrical energy. In the lab, they can mimic the harsh ocean environment. They're also designing systems to minimize harm to marine mammals. We do have off the Oregon coast about 20,000 whales that migrate. So we have experts who are also looking at acoustic avoidance systems that are encouraging the whales to go around these wave installations. Experts say wave energy might one day supply up to 6% of U.S. energy needs. Wave power is available 80 to 90% of the time, twice that of wind or solar. Fortunately, we are in a climate that people understand the importance of renewable energy technologies. So clean ocean energy may be the wave of the future. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.